Early Birds and Night Owls. My name is Nox, aka Mako, and welcome to Rise of Industry. Now, some of you have asked me to play on the channel Open Transport Tycoon Deluxe. Others have asked me to play Factorio. I was a little mm, about doing either one of those, so I was thinking maybe if I found a happy medium, I would play that happy medium. And this is it, you guys. This game is a supply chain simulation that I really love the art style, which is why I didn't play certain other games. I won't say which ones, okay? But uh, I love the art style. It's just totally right up my alley. And although some of the textures aren't yet in the game, I just think that it looks super detailed and super, super nice. So I am super, super psyched. I know I said that like a million times for you guys to actually just see what this game is like. So let's go ahead and get started. I will, you know, break it down as we go along because there's so much to go over. And we're gonna try to take it one step at a time. I'm gonna try not to go too quickly because I have put in quite a few hours into this game. Also, something to note is that we have cities over here and they each have different names. Sometimes, however, yeah, right here like that. Sometimes, for some reason, the game like re-rolls the names every time I load it in. So we end up with different names. Like this one, apparently it was supposed to be called London, but now it's New Delhi. Over here we have another city that's Amsterdam, but it used to be called Manhattan. <laughs> and over here we have Tokyo, and this used to be called Berlin. And so you can see here that none of the names really match up. We have Pasadena over there, and over here we have Riddleville. Have we already gone over here? Madrid. Okay, we have Madrid over there, and we have six cities, I believe. And none of them should probably be called exactly what, yeah. No, they're really not called what they should be. Unfortunately, that you know, this game is still in early alpha, so this is why maybe this is a problem here. But you know, it's it's good to find the problems before the game releases. Clearly, that's a pretty big problem, right? Anyway, so to produce things, because of course this is supply chain simulation, we have three different categories of stuff. Over here we have what what we use to collect natural resources, like water with a water siphon. We can collect some coal, some iron, oil, gas, some trees. Right here we see that we have oil right there, there's some gas there, let's see, some coal right there, and some iron ore right there. So I like that there's actually a lot of stuff around this city, so I think I'm gonna actually start with this one. Right, so anyway, moving on to this one is where we have all of our farms and our orchards and this is going to help out so much because a, mu a bunch of the food stuff and not just the food stuff but other things are going to come from farms so we're gonna be placing quite a few of these trust me on that and over here we have our factory so we have a brewery distillery food factory which is gonna be very useful in the early game you'll soon see exactly when we place it and why we're gonna place it furniture factory glassworks and smelter paper mill petrochemical plant, excuse me, and a textile factory for making some clothes. So, let's get started, shall we? So the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to place down a water siphon because so many things are going to need water, and especially farms. Farms are going to need so much water that I think it's probably a good idea to get started with maybe two of them, but I'm just going to get with one right now because we don't exactly need two farms right off the bat. So there we go, we have that, and now to actually collect the water, we're going to have to place some harvesters. So let's go for maybe one right here. One right here, and one right here. Now, if you place too many harvesters at once, and don't have too many places to actually bring the water, you are going to have to, you know, dump your water through here in the storage area, because you're going to have so much water stored up that you won't be collecting any. And that tends to, you know, raise up little exclamation marks that I don't exactly like to have. So it's always a good practice to use up as much water as you're going to need. So... Only place down as many harvesters as you think you're going to need. And right now, I think we're going to need three for exactly for what we're going to do. So there we go. We have our first water siphon. Now, where are we going to send this water? We are going to send it to a crop farm. So let's go ahead and place a road down. Let's see. I think I want to connect it from over here. I guess we could probably just bring it through here. Yeah, it doesn't seem like that's going to be a problem at all. All right. So we're going to bring it right through here and drop it maybe right there. There we go. Ooh, that's a pretty expensive road, but we have, we started with $50 million, so honestly, that's not that much. All right, so, it's not a big deal that the road's that expensive. So, for this, we're going to go ahead and maybe drop this. Let's see, do I really want that right there? Yeah, I guess I can go there. So, this is our first crop farm, and over here, we are going to be able to produce wheat, hops, or cotton. First one, I'm going to set just as wheat, and now we can go ahead and add some fields for this. So let's see, we're going to go ahead and do it up like one, two, three, 
four right there and five so you can get a maximum of five fields for each of these and i left some room there for some roads just in case we're gonna need them right so where the heck are we gonna send this week because over here you select exactly where you're going to send that stuff well i'll tell you in a second because first we have to actually send the water somewhere so let's go ahead and go over here we're gonna go to farms and select the crop farm and we're gonna go for one two three so we're gonna go ahead and send three trucks worth of water to this place which is gonna be a little bit far because of course this is not connected to anything <gasps> what that's right so what we're gonna have to do is actually make a road right up through here and connect that up so now the water tr trucks can come through here and down to here and drop off the water right there right so over here we're going to be producing wheat what are we gonna do with that wheat well first thing we're going to send it to the livestock farm because over here we are going to have chickens cows or sheep for this one I'm gonna set as cows because that's gonna be super important to produce something that I believe the city needs actually let me check if they still need it Oop, that's a wholesaler my bad they still need it we're gonna make some hamburgers you guys so we're gonna need some nice beef so for that we're going to actually get some cows up in here and they're gonna produce meat milk and leather so let's go ahead and add some cow fields along the way here let's see I could probably just do them up kind of like that there we go so there's one oh uh, boy I don't exactly know how to do this. I guess this works. Sure, sure, we can do it up just like that. So there we go, we're getting up five fields just so we can have tons of cows. Now, here we're not just gonna need wheat, we're also going to need water. So we're gonna go right back to our siphon here and add a second destination. But to do that, we're going to need some more trucks because we're already using all of our available trucks to send water to this farm over here. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and select another building over here, which is a farm livestock farm and go for three trucks going over there and of course we can only send water because it's just the water siphon you know it's no big deal it's just a water siphon so we're gonna get water over there and now we have a place to actually send our final product here so we're gonna go ahead and select the livestock farm and send out three trucks there so over here we are going to be producing meat milk and leather we have to figure out something to do with all of this stuff so we already know what to do with the meat so to actually use the meat what are we gonna do we are going to need a food factory that is correct we're going to actually need a food factory so we can actually make meat however however we're gonna need two food factories and i'll show you why in just a second so let's go ahead and drop that right up in there so for this first food factory we can produce juice dough pies and cakes hamburgers or canned fish so naturally for hamburgers, we're gonna need some dough and some meat, we already have the meat. So over here we have to produce dough. And here, we're going to need water and wheat. So let's select this as dough. And we're going to go back over here. We're actually producing wheat and we're gonna set another destination. So naturally we're gonna need some more trucks and a new destination, which is going to be to this food factory right over here, which I'm actually gonna rename it to Dough Factory just so I can know. Let me change this one as well. This is gonna be just Wheat Farm, there we go wheat farm right there and this one is going to be known as the dough factory i guess df df actually made sense honestly so that wasn't that bad all right and now we're gonna actually add another harvester because we're gonna need so much water that i think adding another one is going to help so we're gonna have to set a last destination now if we're gonna need water elsewhere we're gonna have to make another water siphon so i think it might be a good idea to maybe add the fifth harvester but we shall see we shall see if we're actually gonna need that so there we go, we are going to send three trucks to the dough factory as well, and to be able to do that, we have to connect our poor little roads right up through there. There we go, huh? So, now we have dough being made, so we're going to go ahead and send the dough over to the other factory over here. However, this is not yet set for hamburgers, so let's go ahead and set that for hamburgers. And we are going to go ahead and send our dough to that factory right there, and three trucks right there. Mm -hmm. And by one, two, three more trucks because, of course, wait, this was the wrong one, wasn't it? We won't have to send our dough anywhere just yet, but we will need that eventually. So I'm going to just hold off on those trucks because they will be needed pretty soon. Right, so I meant to go over here instead because we're going to have to send our meat somewhere. So this is selected as meat. So now we are going to go to this factory right here and send over one, two, three trucks. However, we're also going to be producing milk and leather so we're we're gonna figure that out in a second but first things first now that we're producing hamburgers we're gonna go ahead and send them off to 
this grocery store right here, which is the nearby one. We're going to send off with just three trunks for now. For now, because I don't know if we're going to be producing anything else. I mean, it's, it seems like it's just going to be a hamburger production place. And I don't know if anybody else is going to want hamburgers, so I think this should be good enough for now. So let's go ahead and get started with that. I believe this whole production line is actually complete. However, of course, we're still getting milk and leather over here. We should be... Soon enough, we're going to get milk and leather over here, which means that we have to figure out something to do with them, especially since we're going to get two times the amount of milk that we do to, get to leather. This storage unit here is going to get pretty full, but right now we have just water there, so we should be producing things pretty soon. We're just waiting on some wheat. Are we actually getting any wheat? You're getting, yeah, slowly but surely, you guys. Slowly but surely, we're getting some wheat, so we should be able to soon produce this stuff right in here. It looks like the fields are working. Yeah, there we go. So we're quickly bringing the meat over to over here. And that's being stocked up. And there we go. We are actually producing some hamburgers. Nice. So over here we have the truck that's actually taking the hamburgers to the town. And yep, just like that. We are actually selling some stuff and making some money. Although it takes a little bit to actually make a good amount of money. So we're going to have to keep working on that. So as you can see over here, there are farms here that we did not place. That's because these cities are pretty dynamic in that they continue growing. So that's why I kind of put our operation out here because otherwise we'd get stomped up with different buildings building in between us and that's really not what I wanted. So um, we have quite a bit of stuff over here. What exactly are we going to do with this? First thing I want to get rid of is the milk honestly because that's uh, two times the amount that we need. So let's see, or two times the amount that's being produced I should say. So none of this seems to need milk. So I guess we're going to have to go to a different CD to see if they need something that needs milk. What needs milk, I believe, are pies. So let's see if anybody needs some pies. Yeah, nobody here wants pies or milk. So let's go to our next city that's all the way over here. And to get out here, you're going to see soon exactly what we're going to need to do. Yep, they don't want pies or milk. So unfortunately, we're going to have to move on to the next city, which is this one. Wait, did we already check this one? They need milk. All right, so that's fair enough. That price is really not good, so I'm not really too happy about that one. Hmm. Let's see. Do you guys need anything that we can actually... Aha! They want pies and cakes. So that means that we can go ahead and send them some milk. So that would actually help out. Do you guys actually want anything here? You also want pies. However, you're a lot farther away, so I don't want, really want to deal with that. Right, so we're going to go ahead and try to connect this city over here with this city over here. And how we're gonna do that is through a train terminal. So, to be able to actually send out our nice, num yummy, delicious, yummy, delicious, call it whatever you want, pies, we're going to go ahead and put this maybe, ooh, maybe not in the trees. Let's go ahead and drop it right up in here. And we're gonna need a second terminal that actually connects somewhere over in this other city. I think it was Amsterdam, right? Ooh. So let's see, I think, probably a good idea is dropping it somewhere over here and then connecting a road into Amsterdam because I honestly don't want to put it along this road. It's going to take way, way, way too much time. Let's see. So we're going to do... By time I mean having to go around here and do crazy things. So let's go ahead and do something like that. And over here, I guess we can probably just drop a road somewhere along the way here. And I'll see it right up in here because I think that's going to help. Let's go and drop it up in there and they should be able to get in and out from there after they have their stuff. So let's go ahead and connect this with some rails. We're gonna have to bring them out like this. I like to actually make them a little bit straight just like that and then turn it. It's, uh, the junction is a little bit weird for now, but I hope it gets fixed in the future because it's just, it looks bizarre, okay? I, I understand that, I understand. But that's okay, you know what, it works and that's all that matters for now. So let's go ahead and drop that up in there and we have some gas right there, so I don't think I wanna go there anymore because that's still getting a little bit too much for me. Oh my gosh, look at this, Delhi has tons of coal. However, we can't really put this uh, train line through this, it seems, so unfortunately we are- Ooh, it seems like it can just get there, but no, it can't. So what we're gonna have to do is actually bring it through the mountain somehow. So we're gonna have to do something like this. It seems like it's actually going around the coal. Nice. And bring it through like- Ooh, is that's not connecting? There we go. Nope. Oh, my bad. My bad. There we go. Bring it through here, and we're gonna go ahead and just drop it maybe right there. Sure. So we have to bring it all the way down through here. So we're gonna, I think I'm just gonna take it down through here because it seems like there's no resources. I mean, I could bring it around. Hmm. Yeah, I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> That's way too much for me. So let's go ahead and bring this through here. Up. Oh, my bad. Bring this through here, just like maybe there, and bring this up. Oh boy, through the gas. I don't think so. We're gonna go ahead and take it out through here. Mm -hmm. And now we just have to connect these two. So let's go ahead and try to do something just like there. Uh huh. So now we have a train connection. Exactly what are we to do with this train connection? Well, I'm going to wait 
per second because, of course, we have to build specific things now so we can actually send out our pies. So, first things first that we're going to have to build is another food factory because, of course, we're going to need the milk and the dough to come together as one to make a pie in a food factory. So, what we're going to do is just drop this right next to the other one. I guess this is going to be our food factory aisle. And we're going to produce pies and cakes. Right, so now... Now we have to go ahead and actually get some milk from here. So we're going to go ahead and send over milk to the food factory 3, which I should call it pie factory. I think I'm going to do that and buy some more tr trucks over here, actually. Almost forgot about that, you guys. I apologize. Right, so let's go ahead and actually call this the pie factory because that just makes so much sense. And now we're going to need some dough. So we're going to come over here and actually set this since we already have our trucks. Hey, look at that. We already have our trucks. <laughs> Because I totally knew that was going to happen, you guys. So there we go. We're going to send them some trucks. And now we have our pies. So where exactly are we going to send off our pies? We're going to take them to the train station over here. I, sh I think that's Terminal 1. This is 60 tiles, so it seems right. We're going to take them to the train station over here. And to be able to then send them all the way over to Amsterdam, or whatever the heck it's supposed to be called, we're going to make a route, a trade route. So let's go ahead and add a trade route. And we're going to go for train, select the Istanbul train, which is not actually Istanbul, is it? No, it's Madrid. And we're going to find some pies. There we go. We have pies right there. So one. Where's the pie? <laughs> Where'd the pie go, man? Where oh, right there. Two three and four there we go and we're going to add a stop excuse me i don't know why i clicked add a route we're going to send it to apparently manhattan sure we're going to swap this over to the red here because the red means that it's going to get dropped off if it was gray it would mean it would stay on the train until the next stop where or wherever it was meant to be dropped off which is not what we want so we're just going to leave it just like that and let's go ahead and get that going so hopefully now this should work i've had mixed success with trains in the past sometimes they work other times they don't it's a little bit weird but you know what as long as we can actually get this going and maybe working it should be good I want to actually see if any trucks actually come down here because I want to see if it works if it doesn't then we are in trouble again all right so we are getting a truck coming in here let's just see what it's uh, did I name the game WWW let's just call this um utopia what the heck why not all right, so let's see. Is this going to actually send out a train or is it not? Did I not connect something along the way? Because sometimes that is a problem that I do, that I just don't actually connect things all the way. So let's make sure that that's connected all along the way here. So that way our trains can actually travel. Because if there's nothing connected, then how the heck are they going to travel? Right, you guys? So let's see. That should be connected. It looks like it's connected through the most of the way. Let's just make sure that it's all the way connected through here. Oh, do not want that. Just make sure it's there. All right, so now that should be working, I guess maybe they're waiting for a specific load. That could also be the case. And right now we only have four pies, so that's really not a good load. Hmm. I guess it's okay. I guess it should be okay. That's, uh, yeah, it actually should be going. All right, so that should... I mean, this should be good. I think it's just waiting for a specific number of pies. But for now, we won't look at that because we still have uh, one thing that we've yet to do anything with. And that is we have tons of leather. So this one gets a little more complicated and we'll see why in a second. First thing that we're going to need to make leather, and this is going to to use the leather, excuse me, and this is going to sound a little bit crazy, is we're going to need coal. And why we're going to need coal, I will show you in a second. So, let's go ahead and actually place down our coal mine somewhere around here. Somewhere we can actually put a lot of harvesters around there. I suppose this is... This is an okay spot. This is not that bad. Sure, let's go for that. So, we're going to have to go ahead and add some harvesters around here to actually harvest all of our coal. So, let's see. Can where? How far away can we put one? Because this is like right next to a hill, which is honestly not that great. I think that's probably the closest spot, unfortunately. Alright, so there we go. We have one. And one... Ooh my bad i want to go ahead and add a second one somewhere along the way here too can we actually add a third we can add a third i think we can add a fourth too can we get one back here it seems like that's not the case three you know what i think three is okay because we are only needing coal in one place pretty soon so let's go ahead and just connect this up like that through there like that through there and i think there's a connection right up in here uh-huh connect that all the way up just like that and there we go all right so we have that going now where are we going to send this coal? We are going to send this coal over to the petrochemical plant. I believe that's right. I have to actually have to click on a check just in case. So over here, we're going to make some dyes just because clothing needs dyes. And yes, we're going to use coal to make dyes. So let's go ahead and set that just like that. And we're going to go right back over here and set the destination as 
the petrochemical plant. So we're going to go ahead and send three trucks over there. So what are we going to do with this dye? We are going to have to send it to the textile factory. However, we need one more thing. So we're actually going to have to place down two textile factories. Uh-huh. You heard me right. Two of them. So there we go. So the first one here, we are going to need to make this work close over here because that's what uses leather. Also, handbags use leather, but we're going to need rubber for that one. And I don't really want to work with rubber just yet. But to make this, we're going to need fabric over here. And... <gasps> Well, it seems like fabric uses cotton and dye, so we're going to have to make a new farm, which is going to be pretty interesting, but we'll see and see about that. So, right, let's set this fabric over here, and over here, we're going to set this one to work clothes. So, we're going to go and send our fabric over there, and send over three trucks. And from over here, we are going to send our dye over to this factory right next door to it. So it shouldn't be that far of a trip. Right, so now we need to actually add another another farm. So what I'm going to do is I, I'm actually probably going to put it through here because that seems like a good place for it. So we're going to go and grab this road here, bring it out through here. I suppose I could have just made it flush, huh? Well, whatever. <laughs> whatever. It's going in anyway. There we go, and bring this road right through here so we can connect with this guy right there. There we go. So now we have this room over here, and we are going to place down a crop farm right... Maybe smack down right in the middle. Just like that. And we are going to get production going here for cotton. And let's add our cotton fields, kind of like I did that one. Let's go ahead and just do it up like, um, let's see. One. Two. Whoop. Three. Oh. I flipped it way too much. Ah, oh, man, I keep I keep messing that up. Four right up in here, and five right there. Right, so now this is all going to be cotton. It seems, though, that now we need some water coming up in here because everything needs water. But first, let's go ahead and select the factory that's going to need some cotton over there and send over the three trucks over there. Right, so now we're going to need another one of these water siphons. So let's go ahead and place that down right up in, let's see, here. There we go. And we're going to add just one harvester because we are only sending water to one place. It's still going to get full, honestly. But you know what? It's better than just, like, having a billion harvesters and most of them doing absolutely nothing. So there we go. We're going to do that. And I guess we could connect this up together. So this will be on the road. We could even connect this one up with that there. I mean, that might be okay. Sure, let's do that up. Just like that. There we go. We have extra road pieces. I know, I know. That's okay. Let's go ahead and select this over here. We're going to set our cotton farm. I guess it's crop farm two. And we're going to send over three trucks. So, this should now be working. However, we are having clothes that... What are we going to do with it? Well, we can sell it to somebody else. But I didn't see anybody who really needs it. And as you can see, there's really nothing we could do with it. We could transport it by train, but honestly, that's not a good enough thing for me. So what we're going to do is send it out of the state. We're going to just select that and send over three trucks. And what that's going to do is I believe that's going to take it all the way out to here. So to make that a little bit of a shorter trip, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to connect that up with some road over... Ooh, that's a little bit wonky there, but that's okay. We can definitely work with this. We're going to send the road all the way through here. So let's go ahead and connect this up through here down through this way right here and we should connect this up I guess yeah through here just works that works just fine for me of course we could use trains but mm, I'm not the fondest person of trains because sometimes they work and just sometimes they don't at least for me that's just been my experience so let's see how many pies do we have over here just 11 yeah you know what that doesn't seem like that many honestly so I'm gonna wait maybe until we have 50 pies and if that's if, it's no if nothing is happening there, then we really have to fix something with the trains. But for now, that should be working. Right, so we are getting production going on. We are making right now about $20,000, which is really not much because we are in big time debt. And there we go. So the month just ticked down over. So our current debt is about $102,000. So to actually make money, we're going to have to make $102,000 worth of product. Let's see. Oh, it seems like over here we're having some problems with storage because we are already using all the water that we are gathering there. So that's a problem. We're definitely going to have to do something with that. And what's happening over here? No storage space. Understood. Hub disabled over there. Yep. We already got rid of all that stuff. So it should be working just fine. All right. How many pies we have here? 15. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to get rid of one of the harvesters over here, honestly, because it seems like maybe we have one too many. How many units do we have right now in storage? 80. Yeah, we're getting, we're getting rid of one of these. I am so sorry. There we go. Alright, so that should be a little bit better. Honestly, we don't even need that offshoot, do we? 
So now we have way too much water happening in here because of course we got rid of one of the harvesters which was holding some water. So sadly I'm gonna have to dump all just so we can restart collecting them so that way we won't keep getting that uh, thing happening there. Also let's see, are, do we have any trains out and about? It seems like we probably don't. Oh, we are actually super close to making some money. But the month is just about over. Womp womp. <laughs> we got close, you guys. We got close. Over here we have 19 pies. Mm, I guess we're really not producing that many pies. I thought we were. Alright, so I, I think I did the train thing right. I think I did. It, like I said, it sometimes works, sometimes it just hasn't. Hmm. Storage space. Aha! On this one here. Alright, so what I'm going to do is because this one's getting so filled up, I'm going to send out some more water to the livestock farm. So we're going to have to buy three trucks and send that out as quickly as possible. That way we won't have so much water just getting stuck up in there. And let's see, any trains al along the line? It seems like that's just not happening. Um, what's the problem now? Aha! Are we getting filled up in here already? Oh my gosh, okay, yeah, we have one too many here as well, so we're gonna have to just get rid of that, because clearly two should help. So let's go ahead and just dump again. Dumping is really not my favorite thing to do, but sometimes it's just what we have to do. Alright, what kind of problem are we having now? Um, yeah, okay, sure, sure game, sure. How many pies do we have here? 24. Hmm, did my trade route not actually help? Let's see, what if I switch this over? I think we were supposed to actually press... My bad, you guys, I didn't realize that it was paused. I am so sorry. Well, anyway, there goes our train. It's actually gonna go ahead and deliver those pies, so we should be making some more money. On the bright side, it's leaving, you know... Right at close to the beginning of the month, and it's gonna get there towards the middle of the month, I hope. So that way we can start making some money pretty soon. Actually, are we delivering these pies anywhere? No, we're not. My bad. So we're gonna go ahead and take this to commercial over in. Is that actually it? We can send it to the wholesaler? No, I wanna send it to the grocery store. I guess this is Manhattan, but it's called Amsterdam. Weird, weird, super weird, whatever. So we're going to go ahead and select pies and cakes from here and send out all three trucks. There we go. So as soon as that train arrives, we should see some trucks come out of here and go all the way into this city and take those pies away. And we should make some money. So it's going to be super yummy delicious. There we go. One, two, and three. And wow, look at that. It left without all the cargo. So that's actually, ooh. Was that just an accident right there? Ooh, look at that. We just made so much money. Okay, it wasn't really that much money, but... The bright side is that we are making money now, the trains are working, everything seems to be going just fine, so that means it's probably time to actually add some more production onto here, huh? Oh boy, oh boy, what are we gonna do next? Let's see, it seems like we're producing enough cotton over here, maybe too much cotton? I'm a little bit nervous that that might just be too much cotton. How are we doing over here? It seems like we're not actually producing enough... But what? What? Are we really not getting... No, we have tons of coal. Excuse me, why is this not getting... Wait. We have tons of coal. This is just not being driven over here fast enough, or we're producing the dye too fast. That's definitely also a thing. Is that actually set, though? <laughs> I didn't know if that was set or not, but it uh, seems like things are working there. And yeah, it looks like we're waiting on dye right now, unfortunately. Maybe I didn't set that. If I didn't, actually let me know in the comments. And aha, I did not actually set this, so we have not been producing any clothes. My bad. So let's go ahead and actually set this to the... Oh, wait, what? It's not where I want to send it, my bad. We're going to send this to the textile factory. We Oh, I was like, why is this happening here? Aha, uh -huh, because this is set to meat. So we have to set leather there. And now it's going to the right factory. So we're going to go ahead and buy another three trucks and send them off across the street right there. So now we should be making enough money. Now maybe we can pay off our bills finally after so much time of wondering what the heck is going on and why aren't we making money. Now we should be sending that clothes out of state and actually getting a good amount of money, you guys. Maybe it's gonna work, maybe it's not gonna work. Let's see, are we actually producing clothes? We are finally producing clothes. Oh, thank goodness, because I was a little bit nervous there that we weren't actually gonna be making anything good. But now we are in a new month, and look at this, this truck is actually heading out. I'm pretty sure we can click on these trucks to figure out what's going on here, huh? So it's from the textile factory to sending it to state south. So it's going to come all the way through to here and just peace out. And randomly, it's probably just going to pop right back in and just drive up through there because naturally our trucks do have to come back. And there we have a second truck. Hmm, maybe sending out a train would be a lot better. I think the train would be a lot better for sure. Yep, there we go. It just came right back in. Which is, you know, it's okay because we're just going to get our trucks right back in. We're getting very, very close to the point where we're finally going to make some money. Which means that we should probably, yeah, for sure make a train station over here. Just so we can get that out a lot sooner because obviously the th three trucks are right over here. How are they going to be collecting clothes, right? 
I'm pretty sure that we're gonna have, yeah, we have tons of clothes right up in there. So definitely adding a train in pretty soon. Where is the problem? The problem is still coal. Are we really producing too much coal? Oh my gosh, we are. Um, I guess only one of them is all that we need right now, so that's okay with me. I, you know what? I'm just gonna dump it. It's, it's fine. It's, it's just fine. I know it's a bad thing to do, and I really would prefer not to do it. Ooh, are we gonna make some money, you guys? And we're so close! We're so close! Are we gonna make some- No, we didn't make any money. Oh, womp womp. We got super close, but that's okay, because I am so confident that we're gonna make some money soon. As soon as we get the train going from here to the state line, we should be making tons more money since that clothes will be going in and out super, super quickly. But we'll be doing that in the next episode, because that is it for this episode of Rise of Industry. If you enjoyed, hit that like button to show your support, and do consider subscribing if you are already now subscribed to the channel. But as always, thank you so much for watching, and have an awesome night.